Welcome to Antenna and Wave Propagation Lecture Series. I, Professor Itesh Dholakya, is going to explain you turn style antenna in this session. So to understand turn style antenna, these are my session outlines. Where first, I'll discuss basics of turn style antenna. After that, we will see structure of turn style antenna. Then I'll explain you how feeding is done in turn style antenna. Then after we will see different modes of operation which is there with turn style antenna. After that I'll explain you radiation pattern of turn style antenna with different modes. And then we will see some advantages and applications of turn style antenna. So these are the session outlines regarding turn style antenna and let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of turn style antenna. So see when we talk about turn style antenna then that is a cross dipole antenna consists a set of two identical dipoles mounted at right angle to each other and fed in phase quadrature. So what is the meaning of it? You see it is a cross dipole antenna and it is a connection of two identical dipole antennas. So see cross dipole antenna means what? If I connect one dipole like this and there will be second dipole like this. So that means it is a cross dipole connection. Here one thing that we need to keep in our mind. See when we do feeding of these two dipoles then second dipole should be 90 degree phase apart from first dipole. So here we have connection with 90 degree phase in between two dipoles and that is having cross dipole connection. So you will be finding in orientation even that is apported by 90 degree and in feeding even 90 degree phase is been given. So see two currents are applied to the dipoles are 90 degree out of phase. The name reflects the notion the antenna looks like turn style when mounted horizontally. So you will be finding its shape is like turn style when you mounted that horizontally. So let us see that first how it looks like. So you see two dipoles are there right. You can see these are the two dipoles right and it is 90 degree oriented with respect to each other and in between these two dipole phase difference is 90 degree in feeding. So how we do that that even we are a little bit to see. If you see second structure in that case it is an array of two turn style antenna where two turn style antenna is connected in array and this is what we are doing it to increase gain of antenna. So when you connect turn style antenna in array that increases radiation strength. So one can say we increase directivity and gain of antenna by connecting it in array. Now let us try to understand how do we feed turn style antenna. So see in turn style antenna we have coaxial cable over here in that there is outer conductor and inner conductor. Outer conductor is connected with one pole of dipole and inner conductor that is connected with other pole of dipole and dipole length is lambda by 2. Now in turn style antenna two cross dipole is connected as I have told. So here second dipole that is getting feed by 90 degree phase. So here we have 90 degree phase shifter where with this 90 degree phase shifter you can see outer conductor is connected to outer conductor of this 90 degree phase shifter and inner conductor that is connected to inner conductor of this 90 degree phase shifter that you can see. Now at this end there will be 90 degree phase with respect to this end. right? So here at this end we connect second dipole so you can see with inner conductor one pole is connected and with outer conductor second pole is connected and length of this is lambda by 2. So technically if you observe the shape then that will be cross only right with orientation of 90 degree to each other but in feeding even there will be 90 degree phase and that is what we are doing it as you have seen it in this figure. So this is how we do feeding of turn style antenna. So two identical dipoles are placed at right angle to each other. Both of these dipoles are fed 
by 90 degree out of phase to each other. So you can see by using this 90 degree phase shifter, we are providing that phase shifting in between these two dipole. So turn style antenna can also be termed as cross dipole array. See cross dipole array that we can termed as if we have multiple cross dipoles, right? So in previously I have shown two cross dipole array, two element cross dipole array, right? So likewise there can be multiple uh, element cross dipole array and uh, that is even a turn style array that one can say. Now see, let us try to understand modes of turn style antenna. Now if you observe turn style antenna, then that is appearing like this, right? And it functions in two different modes. It functions in normal mode as well as it functions in axial mode. When we talk about normal mode of operation, so in normal mode of operation, antenna radiates horizontally polarized wave which is perpendicular to axis of turnstile antenna. So see, this will be the axis of turnstile antenna and in normal mode, antenna will radiate horizontally polarized waves which is perpendicular to axis. So with see, this is the axis. So radiation will happen horizontally, right? So you'll be finding that radiation is happening horizontally like this and that radiation is having polarization that is horizontal polarized electromagnetic wave. So here are two things that we need to keep in our mind. In normal mode, radiation happens perpendicular to the axis of turnstile antenna and radiation is there with horizontally polarized EM wave. So the wave which is there in this radiation pattern will be horizontally polarized waves. In second mode, that is, there is axial mode of propagation and in axial mode, as per this axis of turnstile antenna, it will radiate in axis only and that radiation will be circular polarized waves and that will happen along the axis. So radiation pattern will be like this and in this radiation, EM energy will be circularly polarized waves. So this is what we need to keep in our mind. In axial mode, radiation will happen along the axis of turnstile and that radiation will be circularly polarized waves. In normal mode, radiation will happen perpendicular to the axis and that radiation will be horizontally polarized waves. So this is how modes of turnstile antenna is there. Now let us see the radiation pattern of turnstile antenna. So as I have discussed earlier, there are two modes. In one mode, there will be horizontally polarized mode and direction of radiation will be horizontally means perpendicular to axis of antenna. So you can see radiation will happen like this. Along the dipole, you can see there are four major lobes that is there, right? Along the poles, there are four major lobes and that is perpendicular to axis of the antenna and that radiation that will be happening with horizontally polarized radiation, right? So here EM wave that will be horizontally polarized EM wave. Now, if you see second mode of radiation, so in that we have axial mode of radiation where you can see in axial mode of radiation, radiation happens along the axis and this radiation happens by circular polarized radiation pattern. So here this radiation will be circular polarized radiation pattern and major lobe is happening in the direction of axis of turnstile antenna that you can see, right? And this radiation will be circular polarized radiation pattern. So that is how radiation pattern is there with turnstile antenna. Now let us see the advantages which is there with turnstile antenna. See, we can have higher gain by stacking means in turn style array we can have higher gain like see if I have axis of turn style like this if I use one turn style over here if I connect array as it is there in Yagi Uda we can increase gain you can see so more the elements more the gain along the axis and axial mode is used for higher gain applications so in higher gain applications we use axial mode of propagation for turnstile antenna. 
better directivity can be achieved by having stacking. Now, what are the applications which is there with turnstile antenna? See, turnstile antenna can be used for satellite communication and this is what the case which we have it in case of array of turnstile, right? So, if you have array of turnstile, you will be having very high directivity and if you have very high directivity, we can have turnstile array for some satellite communication. We can have this in TV broadcasting even as array is having higher directivity. So for TV broadcasting even that can be used. In missile communication we use turnstile antenna, stacked array that is what the basic application which is there with turnstile antenna. See batwing array so that is even array but that is there and in future even I will make separate session for this batwing array. So this is even one popular application which is there with turnstile antenna. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is students your suggestions are only giving motivation to me. So write comments, write your questions and your queries and questions explains me what is that which I need to optimize this channel and it should be giving you some benefits to understand engineering properly. So please, please write comments and please give your suggestions so that I can understand what is required. And you can download all this material free of cost from my application engineering funda. And I have kept everything free of cost for my dear students so that students can learn. And this is what I'm doing it because of I have faced so many problems during my engineering. So I want you to not face all those things which I have faced during my engineering. So please give your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video.